How's it going guys and welcome to SHOT Show 2020. We are at the Kaiser booth and we are going to run through some of the new exciting stuff from Kaiser. Kick us off. Okay, the first one is the inversion. It's a hawk bill knife, it's a defensive knife. Um, the blade steel of this knife is S35VN and the handle of this knife is TC4 Titanium. As you can see, this knife has a very unusual blade shape. It's very controversial. Yeah, it's a, it's a very, very different design. When we saw this on the, uh, on the shelves here of your guys' prototypes and uh -huh. new knives, we had to grab this one. Let us know what you guys think of this. Very interesting, because it's designed to be held in a, in a, like a reverse yeah, grip, Yeah, reverse right? grip. Yeah. yeah, interesting. It has both a uh, flipper tab and some tab. So do that. Yeah. One more time. Nice, okay. So the next one is the clutch. It has a um, 3.5 inch blade and the blade is made of S35 VN steel. Um, it, it, is, it has a titanium handle and it has a carbon fiber inlay. It has a 3D milled titanium clip and it has a IKBS cage ball bearing system. It's a very smooth knife. Yeah, this one, this one caught my eye specifically because of this micarta version that you yeah. guys have. Uh, I really, really like this. And the cool thing about the micarta is it's, it's directional, yeah. right? So when you hold it in your hand, it, it really locks in. Yeah. It's really, really nice. Great feeling knife. And another thing for the micarta one, as you can see, this part actually is very smooth. Yes. So when you put the, uh, this one in your pocket, it won't destroy your pants. Yeah, which is a big thing because it is a very grippy micarta. Yes. So it's nice you guys thought about that. It's a textured micarta. Yeah. Great blade design. And that's something that I love with Kaiser is everything with Kaiser that I've ever seen is consistently, it's very smooth and it's just razor sharp. Um, and no exceptions on the table. These are all just wonderful. Now, something a little different with a lockback, right? Uh, yes, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's called Slicer. It's uh, our new um, lockback. I think it's one, um, probably it's the second lockback designed by Kaiser. As you can see, it has a S35VN uh, steel blade. It has steel free and it has a carbon fiber scale on it. <clears throat> yeah, one thing that sticks out with this is, you know, with modern traditionals, right? Yeah. This is very much like a big modern traditional. Yeah. Um, and I really like this deep carry pocket clip. Yes. Like it's, it's a nice deep carry pocket clip for a bigger knife, but then it's also got a really unique design. Um, again, just great Kaiser design, right? <laughs> this one is, uh, you can easily open it with one hand. And since this is uh, the prototype one, for the final production one, we want we will add jumping here and here, so it'll be even more useful. Yeah, and that's something that you guys know when we're at uh, Shot Show is sometimes you guys are seeing stuff in advance that is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. So nice to know that when we're looking at some of the prototypes, you might see something just a little bit different hit the market. Um, this is an. Oh. <laughs> I do it all the time. <laughs> yeah. um, this is another knife. It, I think it's uh, very different from the traditional Kaiser design. It is very mechanical. Uh, the name of this knife is, is HMS Thunderbird. Actually, the designer, um, Gabe, who is our in-house designer, he is a huge sci-fi nerd. He got this name from a science fictional book, The World of War. Oh, okay. Yeah, Interesting. It's, yeah, it's a torpedo <laughs> ram boat. So if you look at this knife, oh, by the way, the steel is S35VN and the scale is black and titanium and TC4 titanium. And it has a 3D milled uh, pocket clip. So if you look at this knife, you will see it looks very like a, do you know what is a torpedo ram? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's a torpedo ram. That's cool. I always love knives with a good name and a backstory. So. Yeah. <laughs> and unlike other Kaiser knife, you can see the blade of this knife is extremely clean. Yeah. Yeah, very clean blade, very clean design. I do like how you've put the name on the pocket clip. I think, yeah. that's, I think that's kind of an interesting touch here. You it's, get the name on the pocket clip. Yes, it's really like how you put the name uh, of a ship. Yeah. So usually it's like somewhere on the larger um, part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Really neat design. <laughs> this one? Yeah, let's do that one. I've seen this one. Uh, now, this is a Justin Lundquist design, correct? Yes, it's a yeah. Justin Lundquist uh, design. It's a sub-3-inch um, 
a blade, uh, the comb trial. It's a very pocket-friendly knife. The blade on this knife is 154, 154 cm, and it has a GTA handle on it, and it has a steel um, frame in this knife. Yeah. The neat thing with this knife is, I mean, you feel it's like uh, running on ball bearings, but actually it's running on washers. Cool. It's very smooth. Yeah, because this is part of the Vanguard series, correct? Yes. Yeah, so this is a Vanguard knife, so this is the more budget-friendly yeah, version budget of the knife. Yeah. Again, it doesn't matter if it's the Premium or the Vanguard, mm -hmm. everything I touch from Kaiser is just, just impeccable. And this is, no, this is no exception. And Justin Lundquist always has great designs. Yeah. So yeah, this is, this is a really neat one to see. And this one comes in a couple different colors too, guys. So if uh, OD Green's not your jam, it comes in a, in a black and I black, think a blue. Yeah. Uh, yes, and a gray blue. Yeah, like a, yeah, yeah. Like a gray blue. So yeah, really, really neat knife from Justin Lundquist. This is a Pelico, um designed by Jonathan. Jonathan is a French designer. He is extremely friendly. I chat with him a lot online. Um, the blade steel of this knife is S35VN and it has a TC, TC4 titanium handle. Uh, as you can see this, I really like the blade shape. It's very useful. The cutting length on this blade uh, it does not have a flipper tab, so the cutting length of this blade is very large. Oh yeah, yeah, because you have and you have that nice, uh, you have that nice belly to it, right? Yes. So yeah, you get that nice belly, so you have a really good working edge there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, kind of an interesting blade design too, with the mohawk on it. Yeah, the yeah. mohawk on it. Yeah. And I think it's more like a Johnson style. He um, also designed for fox knife. Yeah. It's it's his style. You can cool. even t tell that. <clears throat> And that's something that we've seen on the table. Mm -hmm. You guys do a lot of incredible in-house designs. You yes. do some designing for Kaiser, yeah, I correct? Do, uh, yeah, I just tried kind of last month. Yeah. My design will come out uh, probably before play show. Cool, that'll be exciting to see those when they happen. And But not only do you guys do incredible in-house designs, but you also work with these yeah, yeah, iconic designers, designers yeah. to bring some of their custom work yeah. or some of their own ideas Thank to market. You, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, talking about uh, in-house design, this is a knife designed by Azo. It's called Shamshir. It's uh, designed by our in-house designer. The blade length on this knife is 3.25 inch. Uh, the blade still is S35VN. The handle is TC4 titanium. And this knife also has a really nice, uh, has a very nice body. But compared to that one, this one is slimmer, so it's easy to uh, on your pocket. Yeah. So you can feel this one. And I really like ASOS design. So. As you can see here, it has um, like a space for your uh, layer hole, or you can put it on your keychain. Yeah. Very smooth. Yeah, very, very smooth. Yeah, and I mean, even this, this lanyard tab here, yeah, you put a lanyard on it, you can hook it to it, uh, yeah. you know, whatever you want to hook it to. But it's nice and it doesn't stick out in the road. No. Yeah, yeah. that's really nice. Cool, and then one of the ones that caught my eye as soon as we came to the booth was this little guy here. This is kind of a fun one. Yeah, this is the fun one. It's the butcher um, designed by Macho Blade. So I, I would say it's like a sub three inch uh, knife. The blade steel on this one is 154 uh, cm, which I think is a very decent steel, affordable decent steel. Oh yeah. And as you can see, it has a 14, so uh, you can really do some hard work with this knife. And the handle material on this one is micarta. And uh, as you can see, the finger groove on this knife fits your finger perfectly. You will have a very secure grip on this knife. And the other thing is that because it has a land hole, you can put a land and it will provide extra, like, um, how do you say, grip. Yeah, to ex this knife. extend the grip uh, out if yeah. you do have a bigger hand. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, and you know, the thing is, is we've seen, we've seen a handful of fixed blade uh -huh. kind of EDC cleavers, mm -hmm. and a lot of people are like, oh, well, what are they good for? One, I think they look awesome. Yeah, it looks very fun. It's called it, the, yeah. It's just kind of a fun knife. Yeah, you know what I mean? Knife, it yeah. really is kind of a fun knife. So this this is a, a really fun entry in that kind of fixed blade EDC cleaver you know category. I like that. And then uh, we got this one here. Yeah. This one uh, is the noble designed by Sebastian Erwan. The blade links on this knife is three. Uh, 3.25 3. inch. The blade material is S35 um, VN. The handle material is TC4 titanium. I always feel I always say like TC4 titanium, yeah. that titanium handle. <laughs> and as you can see, there's milled hole 
on the scale. It's very lightweight, and uh, I think one thing I really like about this knife is the flipper tab. It's not very large. Yeah. It will go in, your, in and out of your pocket very really easy. And the action on this knife is stunning. Yeah. Yeah, this one, I really like the pass-through, the windows that you oh. get here. That's really neat. And then, like you said, it's a very, very minimal flipper tab, mm -hmm. but no problem opening that knife right up. Um, you know, and sometimes we see in the knife world, you'll get like a nice quiet flipper tab, uh -huh. but then the knife just doesn't open. <laughs> So yeah, so this is this is a really good entry in that. Can I share something with you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, for people who design, uh, who want to design like a knife with a flipper tap, the thing is that the angle, this angle, should be larger than forty degree when the flipper is like hiding inside of the handle. Right. So if you are going to design your own knife, just pay attention to the angle here. I love it. I've never heard that before. That's yeah. a great little piece of advice. <laughs> this is what's nice about getting the designer on the camera because then we learn all these little secrets. <laughs> cool, now, uh, so this is kind of all the new stuff, new yeah. exciting stuff that we pulled. Um, and then you have uh, two kind of classics that have some new handle materials on them. Yes, yes. So both of these are really great. So Jamie, our camera guy, he jumped at this one. So this yeah. is the bag lighter in titanium, right? Yeah, this, uh, yeah. it's also designed by our in-house designer, Azo. Yeah. Uh, he is a very, very nice family guy. Yeah. And I really like this knife. Oh, oops. So we'll do a side by side comparison. So as you can see, the uh, KI Big Lighter has really some nice update to this one, to the uh, Vanguard Big Lighter. One thing is that instead of using some stud, this knife uses a flipper tab. And the other thing is that we do you like um, make a really nice finish on this yeah. uh, on the blade? Uh, I mean, I would say they, uh, this is uh, the luxury version of the big lighter. Of the big lighter, yeah. And what's the blade steel on this? Uh, it's it's thirty five feet. Okay, so yeah, so your normal big lighter comes in one your Vanguard, 50, yeah, yeah one fifty four. So this really is the premium version premium of the big lighter. Premium version, yes. Um, the other thing is that, uh, I mean, all the details are more premium. Yeah. So. Yeah, you got the frame lock, you got the lock. upgraded blade steel, up, obviously the upgraded handle material, upgraded pocket clip. Yeah, yeah everything um, upgraded. Yeah, and I really like what you've done, because, you know, the bag lighter, it's, it's a very nice knife, kind of more of a plain design, which is yeah. great. But I like these little features that you guys have put into the titanium, um, just kind of give a little pop, you know? I like that a lot. It's not obnoxious. <laughs> Thank you. Cool. And then with the Feist, we all uh, love the Feist. And this one now with some micarta on it. Yeah, my hand is kind of large for using the Feist. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, um, uh, Pig, 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 come on. <laughs> oh, we're gonna get, guys. Amazing. We're gonna get. We're gonna get a hand model in here, I guess. <laughs> oh, a hand model, Pig. She is really good. <laughs> There it is. See, we just had to stand to get it. Perfect. <laughs> kind of a fun on-camera demonstration for you guys. <laughs> but that Feist coming in uh, with the uh, with that new micarta, yes. which is really exciting. I'm always a fan of micarta, uh, and Kaiser does a pretty good job with it. Uh, the last thing that I wanted to show you guys that was at the Kaiser booth, it's not new. Yeah, it's uh, not new. But I hadn't, I hadn't yeah. seen it yet. This is a Kaiser fixed blade called the Bush, yeah. and uh, these have, these are already out. But this thing is a beautiful fixed blade, and I think when we think Kaiser, a lot of times people aren't thinking fixed blade. Yeah. Um, but this is an amazing looking fixed blade. Yeah. Yeah. The blade steel on this one is 195. It has a powdered coating on this one. I mean, it's um. There's nothing special about this knife, but it's a very practical knife. Yeah, well, and I think that's what's special, right? Is, yeah. is that it, it really is. It's just a very simple, beautiful design. Um, nice, thick blade stock. Yeah, if you, guys, if you guys are... Yeah, G10, G10 handles, full tank. If you guys are sleeping on Kaiser's fixed blades, check them out, because this is a really neat one. And check the thickness of this blade. Yeah. You can really do something with this knife. Yeah, and exactly. And it's very comfortable in your hand. Yeah. Um, we didn't bring the Kydex sheets uh, with us this time, but it do comes with a Kydex sheets. Yeah, so, so kind of a fun entry that Kaiser has around, but uh, I hadn't seen yet, so I figured we'd show everybody. <laughs> well, anyways, thank you so much for being on. Thank you very much, yeah. Stack. And we're asking everybody what's in their pockets, so what are you carrying today? Uh, there you go. <laughs> as always.
That's your baby right there, huh? Yeah, I really, I, I just love this one. <laughs> the Shift Dog XL. It is a great, great knife. Yeah, it's a very fun knife. <laughs> What's in your pocket? Oh, my pocket. Let's see. Uh, t oh, yeah. Today I'm, I'm carrying. Uh, I got a, a special gift from Protec, so I got a Protec in my yeah. pocket today. Let's <laughs> see the size comparison. Yeah, a little, a little different. Mm. <laughs> now I do have the Mini Sheepdog, okay. and I love the Mini Sheepdog. Yeah. Good knife, but I need to get me an XL. Yeah. I need one of these. Yeah. <laughs> do you want to do a small commercial for BHQ? We do have a, a BHQ exclusive Mini Sheepdog with the copper handle. Oh yeah, we've actually shown we've shown Are people. Sure? Yeah. Oh, yeah. So if you guys haven't checked out that Copper Mini Sheepdog, get on the website. We'll have a link in the description. That one's a great one. Thank you so much for having us on. Thank you very much, Dad. Yeah, yeah. And thank you guys for following along. Make sure to check out our 2020 SHOT Show playlist for a ton more awesome knives. And uh, we'll see you on the next one.